Hi, in this video, we will see how to scrape Google search results using Python. We will use SERP API to make the scraping process fast and easy. First, sign up for free at serpapi.com. After activating your account from your dashboard, you can copy your API key. Then create a new .nv file to store this key like this. For the main program, we will create an empty main.py file. Moving to the terminal or command prompt, we need to install two packages. First, python.nv and second, serpipp library itself. Back to our text editor, we import the OS module to read the nv file as well as load the package. And then we assign a new variable called API key to get our API key from the nv file itself. Next, import the serp API library then create a new client from SERP API instance using serpapi.client and then assign the API key as parameter. Now we can perform a basic Google search with this method, client.search. We assign a few parameters. First, the keyword we want to search for, in this case is coffee, feel free to change it. And then at Google as the engine, at your location, you can put a country name, city, or state, and then language, as well as the geolocation. Now, we can print the result. From the terminal, let's run this file. And after a few seconds, you will see the complete Google results in this response. This response includes things like the organic results, local results, local map, the knowledge graph, related questions, and other information as well that you would normally find in the live Google search. If you only need the organic result, you can check it from this key. Let's run this file. Now you will only see the data from the organic results. Let's print it in a nice format like this. So we will loop this organic result, only show the title, link, and the snippet. Now you have this nice data from the Google organic result. How about getting the second, third page, and so on? We can easily paginate this result by playing with the num and start parameters. By default, the number of organic results it returns is up to 10 per page or per query. So to get the second page results, we add 10 at the start or 20 if you want to get the third page results. For example, this is the result for the third page. You can also change the number of results it returns by changing the name parameter. You can have up to 100 results. So. If you know that you need results up to 100, you can directly change the num parameter rather than performing a pagination like before. Now it will show up to 100 results from the Google search. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.